welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some meme tier Monday. We have some crazy decks today. Uh, we're starting off with a Vault of Talia deck. That's right, we're going to be combining Talia, one of our newest champions, with, with Vault of Helia. Vault of Helia is a 5 mana landmark round start. If you can, kill your most expensive ally to summon an ally from your deck that costs one more. And so the chain that we're going to have here, um, so like we can we can have Talia copy the Vault of Helia, so we can have two of them, so we can do that twice. And uh, like maybe if we if we do that, then like the first Vault of Helia will, will kill Talia to put Hecarim into play, and then the next one would kill Hecarim to put Rekindler into play, which would bring back Hecarim. And so then we would start with Rekindler and Hecarim both in play. Should be pretty cool. That's kind of like what, what we're doing here, and then you know, like we'll be attacking with uh, large Hecarim. If our Vaults of Helias are killing allies for us, that you know that means we're gonna have allies die, so that'll be very easy to play Rasa. Uh, right, that the play killed the two weakest enemies if an ally died this round. That'll be easy to do. We also have Miscall in here. Um, so, like, I guess if we have, you know, if we have that thing happen and then, you know, we have um, Rekindler bring back Hecarim, we can Miscall and then we either get Talia or Hecarim back, like, right away. Like, maybe we get a second Hecarim put into play right away. That could be really cool. We'll have Black Spear be able to be turned on super easily by Vaults of Helia. And then we got like just a bunch of Shadow Isle stuff to start with. You know, we'll have our Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker combo at the beginning. If we have um, Vaults of Helia uh, killing the Caretaker, it'll put Wraith Caller into play. A very good four drop to put into play. It has that Allegiance, Summon a Mist Wraith. Um, very good one to put into play for free. Or then, you know, we can kill Wraith Caller and put one of these five drops into play. Maybe Ruin Runner. But yeah, that's kind of what our, our deck's going to be doing. It's basically going to be trying to win with Hecarim and then like Rekindler Hecarim and that kind of stuff at the top end. All right, so we're going to go play our five games. We're just playing them in normal today because it's it's meme tier day. So let's head on over to normal and play five games with Vaults of Talia. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll start the prediction. All right, let's take a look at our hand. So we're playing against uh, Garen Leona. We're going to keep one Glimpse Beyond and all of this. We don't really need a second Glimpse Beyond, I don't think. Is the one true light. Yeah, just one of Run Ruin Runner that maybe that our Vaults of Talia will put the Ruin Runner into play from the four drops instead of Talia. Just another good attacker. Okay, so we've, our three cards that we've drawn so far have been seven, six, seven in mana cost. So that's good. That Grand Plaza is going to be really good. I feel like that card's going to be pretty awesome. Rasa. I don't know. They That wasn't necessarily a bad trade for them. It was a one mana card for them, a two mana card for me. Well, we found our Vault of Helios. Forge ahead. Channel our power. <clears throat> All right, so we got Vault of Helios in play. Hmm. 
Well, that's too bad. Because I, I wanted to wait, you know, like maybe next turn be able to miscall it, but. Alright, I guess I just passed turn. None are lost. They only await the dawn. Really? They just like lead with Solari Priestess first? We each died, then found home. Clad in shining sunlight. Glorious light rains down. You cannot stop us. All right, so now I have... All right, so that was the one that Robin created. Now we have the mana for Miscall. So I could Caretaker, kill my Rekindler, get some other blockers, then I could Miscall back Rekindler, but then the other blockers are also going to die. So maybe that doesn't work so well. I don't think I want to just Vengeance the Sunforger. Yeah, that's just going to pass. Feel the sun's glory! We'll see if they play anything better to Black Spear. That could be better to Black Spear, depending on what it is. 6 5. Alright, so maybe just Vengeance that thing. Now I can open attack with two Hecarums. And then, you know, like, we can have, you know, stuff's dying for sure, so we'll have Rasa afterwards. Ugh. Yep. Night, har Night Harvest. Dude, our deck is sweet. Okay. That worked out so far. <laughs> so that little Solari Priestess can challenge my Hecarim. They haven't... They haven't played the other card that they got from... The, oh, they didn't get a card from that second Solari Priestess. The first Solari Priestess, yeah, they didn't even get a card from, because they didn't really do that very well. But never mind. Okay, so we know they have a champion that has plus two, plus two. And we know they have a really cool card from Star Shaping. <laughs> we missed. Alright, so we got Tali on top. Or the, the one of Ruin Runner. But 
but that's all good. That's a lot of damage. Okay, we're one to know. Vault Italia. Huh. Zoe Aphelios with triple champion thing in normal. We're just playing normal. All right, we'll get rid of these. Look for a little bit of an earlier start. Yeah. Turn one, Zoe. Probably wins the game, unfortunately. Congratulations, opponent. Got your... You know, prismatics and everything over here in normal. Triple C with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Triple C. Everyone's a garden. Well, we gotta hope. We got a 50-50 chance. It's either gonna be Warren's Prey or Sapling. And I hope it's Sapling. Ah, that's not prismatic. Found a card that's not prismatic in their deck. I suppose. Yeah, let's go ahead and just start with the whale. <clears throat> Not give them like the spacey sketcher for a blocker. Maybe if they if they use this moon weapon and kill one of my things, then I got better board space for the caretaker. It does not look like that is the case. Okay, that's a card. Doing this right now, so even if they protect Aphelios, they won't get another moon weapon. Because this will be the second card they've played. So yeah, they don't, don't get another moon weapon. Okay. 
Ooh. It's, a, it's possible I should be going after the ballistic bot instead. Can you improve perfection? It's possible I should have gone after, you know, just killed the ballistic bot so they don't get that. You know, we'll see what they do with this ignition, but I could have kept them from getting that ignition. So yeah, killing that 3-2 doesn't really matter when I get the 3-1 back. Yes, they, that was good use of that ignition. If I play the Spectre now, there's a chance they draw Spectre, but I won't be able to have it to bring back the Shark. I guess I save it to maybe bring back the Shark. Still in it. For a little bit. Time to open attack. I mean, that was my plan was open attack. Because obviously we, we have to kill them right here. Is playing Hecarim better in any way? All right, so if we make this open attack, 10-8 so blocks Ruin Runner, and then they go block, block on these. So they take they would take five. So they would, all they have to have is any kind of Nexus healing or any kind of removal. And they stay alive. But Hecarim may not even be worth it, though. Makes their life a little bit more difficult with with Overwhelm. No, because now they can't just play like any one unit because now we have two things of Overwhelm. So just like playing like a regular like 3-2 or whatever doesn't help them as much. There we go! They didn't have it. Wow. What a win for Vaults of Talia. I just haven't, haven't really drawn Talia. Ooh, Yasuo. Yasuo versus Talia. Now this is a heavyweight bout right here. There's a Talia. Like, is our game plan just, like, Wraith Caller and then, like, Mist Wraith or, or Wraith, Mist Caller, Wraith Caller, and Mist Caller, Wraith Caller? That doesn't seem like a bad plan besides the fact that uh, we wouldn't have anything to do on the first three turns. We'll keep one Mist Call and the Wraith Caller. There we go. Perfect. Butcher. Bring it back. Think it fast. Okay, we got our deck, Vaults of Talia. We got our deck. Death is like the wind, always by my side. 
vaults of Talia. Life and death on the blade's edge. I'll just save. I'll just save this call for now. They're getting stunned. Basically just... Uh, growing that blade twirler. Okay, 50-50 shot. No, wrong one. We're not gonna get through these five games without me doing this combo. We're gonna do it at least once. And so, like, this game's not looking so great. We're gonna pull off the combo here. Okay. That does kill us. It's exactly 14. Oh, oh, I could have played the butcher. Right. <laughs> I forgot about the butcher. Oh well, whatever. We still got to Talia a Voltophilia, and that's what's important. Okay, Thresh Nasus. Yeah, they had, I mean, they had a really good hand. Like, they have, like, you know, that's the problem. That's the thing about that deck. You know, if you have Blade Twirler and you have Yasuo and you have stuns, like, your deck can be really good. It's just, you only have, like, one good two drop and one good four, you know, one good champion, right? Like, it's, it's just not consistent whatsoever. But Yasuo can high roll. It can be, like, it can... It can high roll to be one of the best decks in the metagame. It just doesn't, you know, it's just not consistent. We're going to try again. New hand. <laughs> yeah, if you if you can guarantee turn four Yasuo every single game, Yasuo decks would be incredible. Hey, Ten Fins. That's why I mulliganed all of those cards. They were all very expensive. We are getting a run over. One's a garden. Let's eat those shoes. Uh, I was hoping that was atrocity on the Reaper. That's us open. Yay. Oh, 
We drew three Glimpse Peons and two Rekindlers. Those are usually awesome against aggro. Oh! They just top decked another atrocity. Alright, well, you got me. Alright, and facing another aggressive deck here with Elise and Darius. Hopefully we can curve out a little bit better. Well, we got a Curse Keeper, at least. Black Spear is pretty important. We'll try keeping it. Okay. There we go. That's good. That's a good draw. Explosive. It's now on turn three. I'm going to, like, Keeper on two and then, like, Butcher and Black Spear on three. Or I could just go... Just go Vile Feast right here. This will save me some good life. We could use a bite. But hey, even if we go two and three, we beat that Zoe of Elios deck. So that's definitely a win for our meme tier deck. Darkness. So obviously it looks like going with the Vile Feast on turn two ended up not working out. They grow up so fast. I'll be very sad if they have another Elise. Well, that was fast. Was that Doom Beast or Frenzied Skitter? Whatever it was, it was something really good. Uh, sure, Neebs. I guess I haven't really ever done that. But yeah, I could do that. Alright, so our 3 2 died for Miss Call. I'll just save it. I'll just save the spell mana. You know, like maybe we draw a spell that we want to play. I, I feel like these are Frenzied Skitters. Okay, so they play one Frenzied Skitter. Oh no, so it's Precious Pet. Never mind. gonna be close all right we got there I was gonna glimpse beyond a wraith caller and uh, then yeah I was gonna try to go glimpse beyond miss call on a wraith caller right there all right so there we go that was our vaults of Talia deck ended up three and two very happy with the three and two record with the deck and you know winning that match against Zoe Aphelios definitely made it worth it for sure that was a good one um, but, you know, like, we didn't really do anything with either Talia or Vaults of Helia. You know, one of those games we lost, I made sure to copy against the Yasuo deck, made sure to copy the Talia before we lost, <laughs> you know, had the Talia copy the Vaults before we lost. Just make sure that we did that at least once. Um, but besides that, uh, really didn't, you know, we didn't actually activate Vaults of Helia, except for just the one time of turning a, a Mist Wraith into a Blighted Caretaker. That didn't help. So didn't really, I think, well, maybe, maybe we did Hecarim into Rekindler once, maybe. But anyway, as far as our deck goes, Wraithcaller was incredible. <laughs> this was the card that was, like, the reason why we won a lot of games, was Wraithcaller was awesome. Um, and then, like, putting getting Wraithcaller back, 
doing we just did a lot of wraith caller stuff and then and then we had a game like where we got to do a lot of rekindler hecarim stuff that was also really good too so like rekindler hecarim wraith caller miscall all that stuff was awesome um and yeah that's that's why we really did well black spear was a great removal spell very useful multiple times we did like the very first game we got the rasa game that was cool um but yeah so just good old good old shadow isle stuff that we haven't done that much recently but that was uh, that was the secret to winning for us quality shadow isles cards all right so anyway uh that's going to be it here for vaults of talia so those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course as always feel free to leave those comments let me know what you think of the deck or just all the decks today we got some crazy ones um, that we got lined up because we got what else we got? We got Smooth Lulu Zed is going to be next, and Immortal Zoe Tarek and Wiggly Yasuo. That's right. We're going to have some crazy decks today. Uh, if you got uh, deck ideas for next meme tier Monday, you know, leave those comments. Let me know. Uh, but but that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.